MG from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise you that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys fool that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! The first game of today's episode is very important, because it's 1962. It's the height of the Cold War. I am the chairman of the USSR, so I demand some respect. Due to a technical failure, a 50 megaton nuclear warhead is on its way to New York City on your titties. Oh, not a 49 megaton, not a 61, it's a 51, so get that straight. Thanks to breakthroughs in Soviet aviation, your military advisor estimates a delivery in 10 minutes. Yeah, it's gonna come in 10 minutes or your next pizza's free. So yeah, 10 minutes, the world is gonna end, but we have to pick up this shiny red phone and convince whoever's on the other line to make sure that doesn't happen. Your last hope at preventing Armageddon is to get the US Army to intercept the plane. Time to call the president. I'm the commander in chief or whatever the hell this game just said, so I demand some respect and we're about to call the president. So how do I call the president? Hi. Oh, hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Cool. Thank you for your call. No problem. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? Yes. Please. Press one. Oh, press one. Okay. If got it. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Sure. Please enter your six-digit identification code and close with pound. My my six my six what now? Um, one two three four In five. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Please oh. enter your six-digit identification code and close with pound. Well, when I became the commander in chief, they must have not given that to me. So I actually don't know if I have one. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. I... Please enter your six digit identification code and close with pound. I don't have it. One, that two... was not the right code or you oh. may not have the clearance to contact the president. Oh, I have the clearance. Please. I'll enter give you my Washington credentials. Moscow hotline verification code again and close with pound. I got you. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. That was not the right code. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? I'm going to say no. Press one. I'm going to say no. If your matter is less urgent and you would like to speak to a representative, press two. Okay, two. I don't know my verification code. I'm we dumb. value your call. A representative will speak with you shortly. Sweet. You are... 14th in line. Oh, great. Expected wait time is 34 minutes. Mmm. All right. Yeah, we are so dead. I might as well just start saying my goodbyes. Just start boohooing in a corner because we are never going to talk to anybody, are we? That verification code. I don't know if I'm supposed to know something or if I'm supposed to... Our wait to... times are unusually high right now. It might be best to try again at another time. Would you like to continue waiting? Yeah, don't worry. I'll call press from one. heaven or hell, depending on if how bad like of a person If you would like to go back to the main menu, press 2. I think I just want to die. Our wait times are unusually high right now. It might be best to try again at another time. Would you like to continue waiting? Press 1. If you would like to go back to the main menu, press 2. I'm going to go 2. Let's see what other options she has. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Uh-huh. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? No, apparently press not. Press 1. Apparently there's if your other matter matters is less more urgent important. And Armageddon you would like to, speak to a representative. Press 2. Mhm. Mm for other matters, press 3. 3. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, press 1. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press 2. I think too. If you're calling about applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code or getting a reminder for your verification code, press three. Yes, three, 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 three. Let me write this down. To apply for Washington Moscow hotline verification code, press one. One. To apply for a new verification code, we need to know if you are a low ranking or high ranking official. I'm high, I'm so high right now. If you are low ranking, press one. If you are high ranking, press two. Two. What is your function? My if you are head of defense, press 1. Wh if you are head of international relations, press 2. I'm the head of your mom. If you are president, Give me a king, code. or chairman of your nation, 3. I'm in the order chairman. to grant you a Washington Moscow hotline verification code, we need to confirm you are not a robot. 
Please type the following code, one, okay. four. Okay. Six, two. And close with the pound key. Got it. You entered the wrong code. Jackass. Please try again. Please type the following code, one, four. Six, two. And close with the pound key. One, four, six, two. Pound. Thank you for applying for a Washington Moscow Woo. hotline verification code. Thank you. Your thank code you. is four. Four, five. Seven, eight. Four, four, three. Five, to get a reminder seven, of your eight, code, three. use your reminder key, which is one, three, three. I'm about In to be barbecue chicken. In order to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. I got you. Please enter your six-digit identification code and close with pound. Here we go. Four, four, five, seven, eight, three, pound. Thank you for inputting your verification Whoa! code. Welcome back, Chairman Lenkoff. Thank you. We will now redirect you to the president. All right. Please wait. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have 15 seconds, baby! Holy crap. If I can one-take Jadis, I'm awesome. I'm beyond awesome. I'm Chairman Lankoff, dude. Oh, no. I'm about to be a Jagoff right now. Bro, I'm about to die! Fuck! Please enter your six-digit identification four, code five, and seven, close eight, with pound. Three, pound. Thank you for inputting your verification code. Sweet. Chairman Welcome Lankoff, back, right? Chairman Lankoff. Yeah, Chairman Lankoff. We will now Shout redirect you to the Lankoff. president. Please wait. Unfortunately, the president is out of office at this time. Would oh. you like to book an appointment? Press one. Um. Is there an emergency that cannot wait? Press two. Two. I'm twoing so hard right now. Come on. Understood. We are dedicated to helping you out with your emergency. Great. Can you tell us more about what type of emergency you're experiencing? They had this sophisticated the automated system in 1962? Economic? Press 1. Is the nature of your emergency related to nuclear war? Yeah, yeah. Press 2. Okay, I'm toing hard again. We are very concerned to hear you are experiencing an emergency regarding nuclear war, <gasps> and we take your call very seriously. I bet. To help us understand the problem, can you tell us if your emergency endangers U.S. soil or not? Yes. If yes, press 1. Nuclear emergencies that threaten U.S. territory is a very important issue. Is it possible that you may have accidentally targeted the United States and need help with intercepting a missile? If yes, press 1. Uh, if this is not the case and you wish to return to the main menu... It's 1, it's 1. I didn't know it was an accident. Did you know you can order a special interception military mission from this menu? In order to do so, we need the military special permission code that aligns with the type of ballistic missile. Mm -hmm. If you have a code ready, press 1. What? If not, press 2 to return to the main menu. What? Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. I need a freaking Thank you for code? your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter and oh, would you like a direct fuck. line with the president? I'm about to shit myself, press dude. Press 1. I'm gonna shit myself by how annoyed I am at this. And you would like to speak to a representative? Press two. No. For other matters, press three. I need to get a new code. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, press one. No. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press two. Mm. If you're calling about applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code or getting a reminder for your verification code, press three. Mm. That's it. Okay, two, I the guess. United States prides itself on its advanced nuclear technology. To learn more about how nuclear weapons prevent war, press 1. To learn more about the types of weapons the United States may use in relation to thermonuclear warfare, press 2. I need that special mission bullshit, I guess Please two? select a type of weapon which you would like to know more about. What the fuck? Press 1 for offensive weapons such as intercontinental ballistic missiles. Press 2 to know more about defensive weapons such as interception planes. One. Offensive weapons are used to strike tactical target over world-spanning distances. To know more about defensive weapons, press 2. Did you know? You can order emergency military operations such as the interception of an accidental nuclear missile from this menu. Yeah. To How? do so, you need to have a military special permission code that consists of two numbers based on speed of the missile and two numbers based on the best interception method. To know more about speed, press 1. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If your ballistic missile is slow moving, word. press 1. If your ballistic missile is fast moving and can cross thousands of miles in minutes, press 2. 2. Fast moving ballistic missiles have a military special permission code that starts with 4, 0. 4, 0. To learn more about interception methods, press 1. 
To return to the menu, okay. press one. If your ballistic missile is sent from the northern hemisphere, it requires an X form interception method. For more about this method, press one. If it is a southern hemisphere missile, it requires Y form interception. In that case, press two. I think it's the first one. X form ballistic I'm interception stupid. methods have a military special permission code that ends with the digits eight one. Eight one. To learn more about ballistic speeds, press one. Okay. To so return four, to zero, the menu, one. press two. It's 4081. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did you know you can order a special interception yeah. military mission from this menu? I have it. I have it. In order to do so, we need the military special permission code that aligns yeah, with the type of ballistic missile. Come on. If you have a code ready, press 1. 1. Please enter the four-digit military right. special permission code to engage an interception mission, then close with the pound key. Got you. 4, 0, 8, 1. Pound town, baby. The code you entered is for intercepting a fast-moving missile with an X-form interception method. Yeah, it's coming in. Are you sure in. you want to continue? Yes. Press 1. Come on. Shoot that shit. Are Shoot you that absolutely shit. sure? I'm Remember, absolutely this action sure. can only be performed once. Press 1 if you are absolutely sure. I'm so freaking lutely sure. Do it. Right Understood. Now. We will send out a special military interception operation right away. Please, 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 please. Thank please, you please, for please. your cooperation. Did I do it? Did I do it? You have successfully prevented nuclear Armageddon. You are the master of phone menus. Yeah! Next game of today's episode is called Nightmare of the Air Balloon. If this air balloon you're about to see looks familiar, it's because it's from a vision test. You know, when you have to see if you're a four-eyed freak, and I for sure am. I don't know if you all know, but I do wear glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now. But you're supposed to look in like that little binocular type thing, and then you're supposed to see how clear the air balloon is, and then they like puff some air into your eye. That always pissed me off because I was always having like super anxiety waiting for that air to go in my eye, so my eye eyelid was just like uh. you know it's like flickering really hard because i was just so anxious to have that air in my eye but all it was was some air i don't know why i was being a little bitch for some air but this is a horror game based on that i guess we're getting into the bottom of the barrel of horror game ideas where the literal air balloon is from a scary game but i'm walking this long ass road and i feel like i have tunnel vision because the air balloon doesn't seem to be getting any closer and nobody's behind me and nobody's in that grass for that ass but this grass is taller than me, so I guess I'm a little pipsqueak. But yeah, nothing seems to be going on. I think I'm just chilling, everybody. Just walking along this countryside road. And if you ask me, how do I know it's a countryside road? How do you know it's a city side road? Oh, what's that eye? What's this eye, 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 captain? Okay. Yeah, this is from a vision test thing. I guess somebody left their eyeball when that air was puffing through. But that's the air balloon. It would have been cool to have a horror game that took place in an air balloon because I've never seen that done before. So maybe, you know, a developer's watching this game and there's actually something on this road. It's a lie. No, it's a me, Mario. It's a me, Jay. Jay from the Cube Scouts. But yeah, it would be cool to have a horror game that took place on a hot air balloon. The air balloon is actually getting a little bit closer. It looks like people are on there, right? Hello, people. Hello from Street World. Yeah, there are people there. Who goes on hot air balloons anyway? Like, it's not even fun. I feel like you go on a hot air balloon just to see if you'll die or not. But yeah, that's nothing. That's no big deal. I'm about to go past the air balloon. This really ain't shit. The heck? Oh, oh. What you smiling at? You think shit's sweet? Look out. What? The hell you got? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> that was random as hell. And there's something behind me. There's something looking at me. <laughs> really? Well, I'm sorry, everybody. What? <laughs> Look, everybody, I'm going to play one more game of today's episode. So that means four total games of this free random games episode because I love you and you all deserve it. This one's called Interrogation Room. This dude looks like he has a lot to say. So let's see. I can interact by looking at him and his freaking eyes are popping out of his skull. Go away, bitch. Oh, my bad. I have nothing to say. Go away, bitch. Okay, I'm going to go away because I am a bitch. So let's give him some poo poo water. I have nothing to say to you. Emphasis on the eye too because I yeah yeah them eyeballs are popping out. What is this? This vent is absolutely normal. The fuck? Who the hell says that? This person is guilty, surely. 
Oh, okay. I'm assuming that they're guilty. Holy shit, they go right in the electric chair? You stopped the interrogation and the man was found guilty and sentenced to execution. But why though? Okay, hold on. We need to play good cop, bad cop or something because something's not right here. I have nothing to say to you. What about this? They are watching every day. They are. Look at those ass cheeks in that chair. God damn. Holy, holy moly, my boy. Guilty of having that ass. Okay, I don't want to drink now. You don't? Well, I do. I have nothing to say. I don't trust you. Go away, bitch. I don't trust you. Okay, how can I make you trust me? Like, how can I make you love me? Wait, what? what is that? What is that? Why do I have a knife? Kill him? No, I don't want to kill him. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Hold on, I'm talking. Aren't we talking? We're not talking. We're done talking, apparently. There's something missing. Such a weird-ass game. Oh, what? Wait, how did this person get over there? What? what? Wait, what is this? I have nothing to say to you. Wait, how did we get that ending? What? We just started off like that. It said that there was something here. But now he's over here. Hey, relax. I'll hit that alarm. I'll hit that alarm. Stop. Stop it, bitch. What's wrong with you? Help! Okay, calm. That's it? Okay, calm? Oh. Wait, where did the guy go? Hold up. What is happening in this game? The fuck? What is this game? Subject still thinks he's a police officer. Keep watching him. I'm afraid he start to suspect. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm the guy. I'm the guy they've been telling everybody not to work. Whoa. Oh, shit. I was the killer all along. What I do is done. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cobb Scouts is that dude.